And shalom, shalom guys. This is going to be a short video. Just want to say a quick word about Hanukkah. All right, so Hanukkah means dedication. And this is situated around the entire Maccabean War. You would know more about that if they didn't take that part out of your Bible. It's still in the Catholic Bible though, but they took it out of your Bible, your King James, your NIV, your NLT, RSV. None of those Bibles actually have it anymore. And you would really have to search far and wide to be able to find it. You would actually be able to find it in this Bible, 1611. I actually had um, copies of Bibles older than this, but um, this is very hard to read because in the um, the old <laughs> old language, which is supposed to be the Queen's English, it's very very difficult. Even reading and looking at it, like all the S's look like the letter F, as in Frank. So you kind of have to read slowly through this, but it's it's definitely in here. So the Maccabean War, that was, wow, that, I mean, that was drama. It was intrigue. There was no romance, sorry. But the love of the Torah was definitely there. And so there was a group of guys, a family of priests who called them, who were the Maccabees, um, found themselves in a situation where they were being forced to the Hebrews specifically being forced to serve other gods. There was a situation The you know, they wanted them to bow down. They wanted them to slay a disgusting pig on the altar, which the Bible says pigs are an abomination. So that was a no-no. And there was a lot of ruckus. And so um, probably later I'm gonna read from the Maccabees. Um, well, you have to have the right calendar. I do not use the Jewish calendar because they do not follow the Bible. They follow a Hillel calendar. That's another conversation for another day. They are following what Jews do. And when I say Jews, I mean Jews, they're Jewish by conversion, meaning they're Orthodox Jews. So, which is another conversation for another day. Anyway. Yeah, it's, yeah, I know, my, my stuff is just not popular, but whatever. So today is December 14th. Now is the ninth month of the year. At sundown tonight, it's going to be the 10th month of the year. And so the biblical calendar behaves just a little bit differently because God already established that in Genesis chapter 1 and chapter 2, specifically in Genesis chapter 1 and 14, that the signs um, will be, no, well, let me say it like this, Genesis 1 and 14 says that the lights that are in the expanse of the sky, that would be the stars and the moon and the sun, he says they are made for signs, for seasons, for days and for years. And so when he says an evening and a morning, he didn't say a morning and an evening, he said an evening and a morning. Then yeah, that's how he counts time. So when the sun goes down, it is the end of that first day, and then it's the beginning of the second day. And he called the day, he, he called the light day, and he called the <laughs> night. Oh, he called the dark night. <laughs> oh my God. Anyway, um, can we edit that? <laughs> Maybe. So. He called the light day and he called the dark night. So you have Or the Lila. <laughs> you know, when you're going through language changes, yeah, things happen. So stop laughing at me. Anyway, um, so this whole Maccabean War, that's what the uh, Hanukkah is about. So I know that you probably heard about the miracle of the oil. That's a lie, it's a fabrication. That That's not, no, that's not any part of it. If it were, when they went to rededicate the temple, that would have been in that part of the story, but it wasn't. 
because it's not true. It's a fabrication, more tomfoolery from the Orthodox Jews. God says, do not add to the word, neither should you diminish from it. Don't add, don't take away. But apparently they have no fear of God. And one of the other things that they teach in the Orthodox community is that God has no authority in the earth. Yeah, that's gonna be a scary day for those busters. Yeah. So, um, no bueno. So, if you wanna take your time to read about the Maccabean War, you can do that, which will give you so much clarity. It'll fill in so many, um, I mean, the, the missing pieces of the puzzle, you then you'll you'll be able to figure it out it's like wow okay i didn't know that and so there are reasons why they started taking all of these uh, accounts and all of these other books out of the bible and then they tell you oh well they weren't canonized it doesn't mean that it's not history i mean the life of george washington is not in the bible but you know that it's true so uh but of course, it was never part of the Bible in the first place. But the Maccabean War, it was the Maccabees. There's Maccabees 1 and 2. And so it's in there. And um, so it was Ecclesiasticus and Ezra's and a few other books. But they were taken out. And so I like to read it every year. And since it's not, I mean, because I was here seeing, oh, wait a minute, is it Hanukkah right now? But I, I didn't look on the correct calendar. <laughs> Again, I did not use a Jewish calendar because they do not follow the Bible. And so they have, well, I don't want to talk about that. So, this is a short video. You gotta do your own due diligence. You have to study to show yourself approved. And the God, a workman that needs not be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. So make sure you study. Make sure you go when you talk to the Lord about it. Like, what is all of this? The menorah should look like this. Echad, shtayim, shalosh, arba, chamesh, shes, sheva. Sheva, seven, not nine. When you look in your Bible, you will see that God told Moshe to make the tabernacle after the pattern that was shown to you. Seven, not nine. We gotta stop just taking up and running with everything that people show us. What? does the word of God say? At some point, we have to value what the word of God says. Okay, pumpkin. All right, I love y'all. Please comment below. Let me know what you think. Let me know your experience. Do you have a menorah? So, have you ever celebrated Hanukkah? And Yeshua was there, it's in the it's in the uh, tenth chapter, I believe it's in the tenth chapter of the book of Yochanan or John. And there is no J in Hebrew, so there's no way his name was John. That's an English name. These are Hebrews, and they didn't speak English. They spoke Hebrew. Another conversation for another day. And talk to him, ask him, and do your own due diligence. All right. And don't just stop at a point and say, aha, aha, I've got it. No, you keep going because there is always more. All right, so just to wrap it up. So the whole account of this whole Hanukkah with the whole uh, eight days of burning miracle, that was a fabrication. And that was found in later rabbinic traditions. And they did it basically to emphasize the miraculous power um, where God showed up. And he really did show up, but this is not documented 
anywhere. If you want to see it, you would have to read um, the Talmud and it would be in Shabbat Tractate 21b. That's where it is. But other than that, it's not going to be found anywhere. So just a fabrication. So the second temple being destroyed. Yeah. So we want to, we, we don't need to add any more drama to the Bible. And by the way, Hanukkah started December 10th. It ends December 17th. And like I said before, tonight at sundown, it'll be the 10th month of the year. And that's according to the Bible. That's the Bible. And you know, if you have any questions about that, you can ask, but it's, it's, it's in the Bible. <laughs> I promise you. And, but yeah, the whole burning of the oil for eight days, it is a central theme in Judaism. And just because something is a tradition, it doesn't mean that it's valid. All right. So we're not supposed to add to it. This is not, there's nothing in it in the Bible. And as a matter of fact, Second Chronicles 7 and 9 and John chapter 10, I believe it's verse 22. And that's where you can read about Hanukkah, the Feast of Dedication. But there is no miracle of the oil to be found in those places or anywhere else. And so, yeah, so we are to be Hanukkites. I like to say Hanukkites. That means we are to be dedicated ones. Dedicated to truth, dedicated to the word, dedicated to study, to show ourselves approved, to be like the Maccabees, to stand for truth, to be unwavering, uncompromised. That is the story of Hanukkah. All right, so I'm Nabiya, and I'm bringing you intimate truth. This is the truth that you embrace that makes you free. Shalom, shalom. Have an amazing day.